Hi, it's Daniel here. I'm going to talk to you now about teaching fractions, decimals and percentages to adult learners and give you some tips on the basis of my experience. When you're talking to adult learners about their experiences of learning maths, they'll often mention, alongside long division, fractions. For some reason, fractions represent many people's brick wall. One of the first steps when working with fractions, or with any maths topic, is to find out how much the learner already understands. And they may not realise that they understand quite a lot. Do they talk about the time? If it's half an hour to go till tea break, or quarter past three, for example. What happens if we add 30 minutes onto an hour? Well, we have one and a half hours. As well as talking about time, you could talk about quantities. Half the crowd at the concert were screaming their heads off. Or you could talk about food. Cakes and pizzas are very popular. The pizza is a good way to talk about equivalent fractions. If you've cut the pizza into six equal slices and you eat three of the slices, how much of the pizza have you eaten? Half. So three sixths is the same as a half. You can find useful visual aids to help you teach fractions, including fraction walls. These are bars stacked up showing the different ways you can slice up a whole. There's a really good colourful interactive one on this website. So what about decimals and percentages? Should we teach fractions, then decimals, then percentages, or the other way round, or should we mix them up together? Well, the Maths for Life research recommends teaching different representations together from the start. After all, that's how we encounter numbers in everyday life. So it's sensible to make sure that learners understand that a half is the same as 50%, which is the same as 0.5 and then look at different numbers, 25%, 0.75, and so on. As well as writing 1 over 2, 0.5, 50%, we should also try to use graphical representations. This might be a picture of half a pizza, or it might be 50 out of 100 squares. Here's an example. You could design an exercise for learners to match up the different representations and even come up with some of their own. Remember that fraction wall I talked about earlier? Well, you can change it to show decimals or percentages as well. It's really worth a look. 